Welcome one and all to Thronefall. My name is Deep Space Matt, and today I'm checking out the brand new map, a beautiful land with lush trees and roaring waterfalls. Unfortunately, rival kingdoms will send their soldiers to tear mine down, and giant creatures will look to turn my people into snacks. I'll need to utilize the new spell-giving temple, as well as carefully choose my tower upgrades to survive. Can I claim this land as its king? Let's find out in Thronefall. All right, here we go with some more Thronefall. This is a really amazing minimalist RTS that I just absolutely adore. And they have just recently released a brand new map, as well as new enemies, a new building, a new weapon, new features. So you know I'm gonna come back in here and take a look at it. Now, if you wanna check this game on out, or the most recent patch notes, I will have links in the description down below where you can do just that. But for now, let's get right into it and play and take a look at what we're dealing with. Since my last episode, there was also another major update where they revamped the towers to give more options. So I'm interested in checking that out as well. This should be it here. Yes, Wildbok. All right, what do you want to take in to battle here. The bow and dagger I like because we get anti-air. Light spear is not bad. Heavy sword's okay. Lightning staff I think I tried last time. I don't remember if I liked it. Shoots a lightning bolt at all enemies in range. Enemies in close proximity to each other cannot all be hit at once. That means the more spread out your enemies are, the more enemies you can hit at once. And your active ability, a powerful lightning, erupts from your current position after a short delay and deals massive splash damage in a small radius. You know what? I'm going to try this again. It doesn't sound that bad. We have three perks we can choose from. I do like the Royal Mint, giving us extra gold per day. I like the Arcane Towers, more range, more damage to enemies. Uh, what do we have on the most recent unlocked? Better Harbors. Glass Cannon, you deal 80% more damage, but have eight, minus 80% health. Ah, uh, no. A War Horse. Units are trained 75% faster. That's not bad. Walls and Towers have 50% more health. Ooh, I like that one. Maybe those are the three. Your weapon becomes more powerful every night, all the way up to 100% for the final night. That's pretty good, too. But I think we're going, I think we're going with these three here. We don't need any difficulty mutators because we're trying this for the first time. Let's see here. Oh, look at this. All right, what do we got? We got some enemies coming in here. Looks like some uh, guys with some flails. Looks like we have lanes over here. We got a lane up north. And uh, possibly a lane down here as well. And then here's our castle center. So let's build this on up, three gold. And now we can start looking at where to place all our defenses. We build a harbor down here. A shrine activates once enough enemies in his, once enough enemies in its close proximity have died. Once activated, it gives two income per night and shoots at enemies, becoming 20% stronger for every other shrine you activate. I really like the shrines. I would love to get that activated. Maybe we can do that. We have 11 gold. So we'll put this here. We have an interesting double tower set up and a wall here. But this shrine has kind of a small area. Maybe we build up this tower and hopefully get the enemies within range of activating the shrine. There's only six of them. I'm not too worried. Let's come back here and build a bunch of houses. Start generating some income. Because we're going to need a bunch of gold. Okay, I think we're all set. Let's call in the night. This is night one of 13. And start that chain lightning. Uh, do this. Active. Oh, okay. It's like on a timer. Okay, everybody come over here in range of my shrine. Kind of do this, maybe. Excellent. Yeah, no, no. This way, this way. Everybody, aggro on me. Closer to the shrine. And my lightning strike. Okay. 
Lightning strike. Excellent. One more. Okay. Shrine is almost there. We have some kind of... What are those? Some kind of spiders? I think there's a new enemies. They're coming from every direction, too. Alright, maybe... Maybe we put in a, another tower here. And what is this? This is a barracks. Do we need the barracks just yet? I hope we're okay with just the two towers and me. I want more gold. Every house will generate one gold per night. So that's everything. Let's call in the night. Kind of... Oh yeah, look at these guys. Oh jeez. They're awfully fast. Yeah, come over here. Target on me. Target on me. Get the shrine up. Get a lightning strike. There we go. Shrine is active. Oh no, they're going straight for my city center. Nope, nope, nope. I think we're good. We're good. Knight survived. How much gold we got? We got 12. We have 10 of whatever those are. Let's go ahead and get a wall up. And actually, let's come down here and get our harbor started. It's going to build a fishing boat every morning up to five, and each boat generates one gold per day. I feel like that's pretty safe down here for the moment. And maybe we get another tower just right here. We have a mill. Let's get another tower right here. Three gold left over. Uh, oh, what is this? Oh, there's a shrine here as well. Um, just more houses. More houses equals more gold. All right. Call in the night. Night 30. Oh, these are flyers. Okay. Well, my lightning can hit the air. Can that hit them? Oh, it can. Excellent. Oh, we're A-OK. -okay. We're not worried about this at all. Oh, the other thing they added... Oh, geez, maybe we're not OK. Here, get some of this. Yeah, um, that's fine. Attack me. I don't mind. I was trying to save some DPS from my tower. I still think we're OK. I still think we're OK. We're good. <laughs> oh, that was that was not great, though. What do we have? We have 14 coming from three different directions. Build a temple. Oh, this is one of the new buildings. The gods grant you a spell for the next night only. Spells get significantly stronger with each temple upgrade. Interesting. How much does it cost to upgrade my town center, though? Or my castle center? Seven? Let's do that right now. Okay, we can go with royal training, 75% health and self-healing, and more attack damage. I always like Builder's Guild. Magic armor. Or assassin's training, more damage output. Uh, I like the Builder's Guild because every evening a level 1 house is automatically upgraded to a level 2. So I don't have to spend gold to upgrade all these houses to level 2. It'll do it automatically. We have 8 gold left. We now have more spots that we can build. We have a shrine here as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Six, seven, eight. Maybe we do that. Let's see if we can get this shrine active. Since this tower here should be able to reach that gate with its range. Excellent. Uh, of course, we're fairly lightly defended over here. But we'll help out on this side and just hope the north can handle itself. Get some lightning from the sky. Excellent. Hey, everybody. Oh, yeah, Chain Lightning. I don't do a lot of damage. And this does some decent damage, if I can time it right. I 
I can always just come out here, put one right in the middle of use. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we're doing good. How are we doing up north? Oh, we're not doing good up north. Hey guys, hey guys. Have, uh, have some lightning. There we go. Are we in range of this? Come, come, come this way. All right, one more there. Excellent. All right, how much gold do I have? We're working with 17, that's decent. We only have these enemies coming this way. I feel like we need to start with our army now. Do I have ranged units? Where's my archery range? This is the barracks. Shrine, another shrine. Oh, that has me kind of worried. I have a double shrine right next to my castle center. Why would I need that? Things are going to get crazy, maybe. What is this? The hero's quarter, which is pretty good. Okay, I don't know where... Blacksmith, Royal Forge. Do I not have archers? Well, let's come up here with some melee units. We have knights, spearmen, flails, berserks. I like the flails. Attack all enemies in a circle and regenerate a bit of health for every enemy they hit. We're going to grab use. And... Do I want to keep you back here? Let's just keep you back here. And let's upgrade one of these towers. Oh, and see what the new tower update is. Yeah, we get all these options now. Castle tower, plus 150 health, minus 40% attack cooldown, plus 100% projectile speed, targets the closest unit. Sniper, more range and speed, more attack damage, but longer cooldown, targets the highest health unit and siege weapons. Armored tower, more health, when first damaged, this tower activates a shield, protecting it for 5 seconds. That's pretty good for like the front tower here. And a bunker tower, more health but less range. Attack cooldown decreases with each consecutive shot during the night. Targets random units. Oh, this is all very nice. What do I want here though? Maybe the armored tower? Yeah, we'll go with the armored tower since it's right in front and if this wall falls, it'll be the first one and it'll get a shield. Uh, let's build this here. And does this range... This range hits this wall. Just barely. All of you guys come over here. And we're going to build another house somewhere. I think there was houses down here. Yes. Need to keep our economy flowing. We'll call in the night. We'll get a lightning strike real quick to help out. Oh, our flails are going down super fast. Get a lightning strike right there. Uh, more lightning strike. Oh, they're through already. All right, reinforcements. <laughs> one, one poor, lowly reinforcement. Everybody this way. Get some lightning. Okay, we're going to be okay. More lightning. Oh, I'm not going to be okay. I'm almost dead. Got to be careful. Lightning strike. Wall is almost down. Wall is down. I mean, we also have this shrine there. Yeah, look at the rapid fire on the shrine. Excellent. Oh, we got a bunch of spiders. That's a lot of spiders. Okay. Um, another barracks. We have 21 gold. What is this here? Oh, this is a mill. Yeah, let's get uh, this mill going. Scarecrows, wind spirits. 
Scarecrows have a strong anti-air attack. We do have air units coming at us. I might need this. This gives us more income. Let's let's do the income. I'm hoping this mill in the back will be nice and safe. Uh, we will upgrade it and just add more farmland. I'm trusting that's not going to fall <laughs> this turn. If a building, if a gold producing building gets destroyed, it does not produce any gold for that night, if I remember correctly. We have a gold mine. I'm not so sure that's going to hold. Do I have a wall? I have a wall here. Let's put a wall here. Uh, let's upgrade. Let's upgrade this. And let's make this. A sniper is more range. Minus 40 attack cooldown. Let's just do this. More speed. Oh, that's a lot of damage, though. We'll go sniper. We'll go sniper on this one. It's got a lot of range. That is pretty much all of our gold. We're going to start over here. And, oh, jeez. Oh, these guys are awful. Hey, guys. Uh, get a lightning strike. Oh, that was good, though. The lightning strike is good. I'm hoping it, I'm hoping the shrine up north is going to get activated. Our flails are down. I might need to get a lightning strike down here. I think we're okay. A lot of enemies still up north. Let's go help out there. Shrine is not active. Almost. Get a lightning strike. There we go. Shrine active. And we're doing excellent. How much gold we got? We have 35. That is great. Oh, what is this down here? Oh, no. Are those all flyers? Oh, geez. Okay. Uh, this costs 20... We'll be left with 15. Let's do this. More health and health regeneration. More attack damage. Units move faster. And are stronger. More durable. All tower and wall upgrades that are currently available to you are immediately discounted by minus 2 for level 1 buildings. And by minus 5 for level 2 buildings. Plus 40% health and health regeneration for your character. I think I want this. Yes. All right. Um, and then, did that give me anything new? We have a shrine here now, which is excellent. Oh, there's my archers. Oh, yes. We need this right now. A longbow, crossbowmen, hunters, fire archers. Hunters are fast and effective against monsters. That's what we need right now, because we got some monsters coming in. All right. All you guys, come this way with me. We're going to set you up right here. Uh, we got a tower here. That's excellent. We got a tower here. Yes. Five left over. That's a house. There's another tower. We're going to do this one. And might as well use the remaining two for another house and hope it doesn't uh, get destroyed. All right, here we go. Calling in the night. We are knight 7 out of 13. Oh yeah, excellent. Take them down. Yeah, don't go after our boats in the harbor. Get you with a lightning blast. Uh, more lightning. Oh, I put that in the wrong spot. Oh no, they're attacking our harbor. Nope, nope, nope. Archers. Stop them. Oh, that, oh, that was so close. We lost one house. But we're good. What, 35? We have a bunch of ground units incoming. Let's grab all of you. 
We're gonna set you out here. Maybe we start building up these other walls as well. A wall here. We got a tower here to deal with them. A mill, I'm not confident that mill is gonna be safe. Another barracks. We could also get our hero. Hero's quarters, let's do this. We get a golem, sturdy unit that deals both splash damage as well as plenty of single target damage or support mage, heals you and allied units in range and absorbs magical projectiles. Uh, let's go with the golem. You can come over here and get a tower here. Let us, you know what, let's upgrade these walls these inner walls, sort of. I guess it's our second tier. Like, this is the inner wall here. Alright, what, what are these? That's the temple. Another archery range. I kind of like that. And we have longbow archers, crossbowmen. I just feel like going with the hunters again. Just because we have the air monsters a low range but high damage output long range but fragile and fire archers splash damage and bonus against siege engines i haven't seen any siege engines but they could come in the last wave and they're probably good with a splash damage versus all those spiders let's try fire archers maybe it'll be good in the future we are going to bring you guys down here to help out this sort of crossroads. I have four left over. Let's try this temple. See what this new building is all about. Sacrifice. All of your units are sacrificed at the beginning of the night. Your units respawn 175% faster. Applies to the next night only. So these are spells just for the next night. All of your towers lose 1% of health per second but projectiles deal 100% more damage. I move 20% slower, I deal 100% more damage, and have more health and self-healing. All of your buildings lose 1% health per second. They drop one gold when destroyed. Shrines don't grant gold, but have better attack range and activation range. An icy bolt rains from the sky every 6 seconds, targeting your closest enemy and dealing 20 damage per shot. Ice bolts can damage you and your units as well. Interesting. That's, I kind of like Ice Rain. I also don't mind this, like moving 20% slower. I'm not concerned. This is a fairly small map. Let's just go with, let's go with Blessing. And we have two left over. Is there a house I can build somewhere? Is this a house? No, it's a tower. Uh, can I upgrade a house? I guess I guess I upgrade a house. Oh wait, hold on. There were houses down here. There we go. Build another house. That should be safe down by the harbor. Nobody's attacking from that direction. I'm going to help out over here first. I feel like this east side is a little weaker. Oh, look at all you. Here, uh, get a lightning strike. Oh, 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 oh. oh, that extra damage. That extra damage. Lightning strike. Alright, you guys can handle this. How are we looking down here? Our flails have fallen. Get a lightning strike on yous. The wall has fallen. Yo, you're coming after my hero. Base. Get more lightning. No, back this way. Everybody back this way. Yeah, just kind of chase me around the middle here while my towers chip away at your health. Okay, the north has handled itself. Uh, which means, you know, hey guys, you're all good over here on the east. We need your help. Over here. Never mind. We got it handled. Alright, oh, it is Spider City. Okay, nothing coming from up here.
You guys sit up here. You sit up here. I don't. Why is the golem way over here? I mean, that's fine. But you know what? Come back here. This wall is going to fall fairly quickly. I'm going to let it and focus my efforts on defending back here instead. We have a mill. Oh, here's a shrine right there. Yeah, get that. That should get activated fairly quickly. Build a tower here. We got a tower here. Am I confident this mill is going to last? And didn't we have a... Yeah, a gold mine here. Initially generates a high income that decreases over time. That should be safe. At least for this one night. How much does it cost for another spell? Six? I don't know. We have another barracks. Or we can upgrade our existing one. Let's upgrade our archers. We get double the archers now. Let's get this building up. And I think I want it as a sniper to increase its range. How much we got? Oh, I still got 18. I got so much money now. Sure, just, you know, tower here. Tower here. Let's get this upgraded just in case. This is another house. Is this another house? Excellent. That might be all of the house spaces. Not worried about my castle center. Uh, sure, we'll just use the last three on here. And this is going to be anti air attack, intercept enemy arrows, explode when destroyed. Let's go anti air for the future, perhaps. All right, call in the knight. I'm going to get some good lightning strikes over here while they're at this wall. Yeah, that's good. Oh, there's some big spiders here now. Oh, my golem. Hey, guy. I should have had you over here, shouldn't I? Never mind. They're handling it. Come over here when they eventually break this wall, which is going to be soon. Oh, there it is. Oh, they're after me. Hello. Oh, but we got it handled. Okay, we're doing okay. We're doing excellent. I really like these... These new towers, this rework. Oh, we have... These are air units. These are air units. Where's my archers? All of you guys... Come down over here. 14. Oh, wait a minute. They're coming up this way? Does that mean they just head straight for my castle center over these waterfalls? Oh, that's going to be bad. Okay, uh, shrine? No, not a gold mine. We need tower. Uh, where's my other towers? That's a shrine. Okay, we need to upgrade these. I want... I think this one, minus 40% attack cooldown, attack more often. Same as that one. Uh, oh, and probably, I wonder if this one's going to be in range. This one right here. Looks like it. Also, attack cooldown. I can't upgrade the shrines. Uh, but I can actually upgrade this archery range. Get some more of... I think these were the fire archers. Okay, I want all the fire archers. And all of you are going to come this way. And you're going to guard my castle center. If I lose that, it's game over. Which leaves... I mean, it leaves this area with no archers, but we have tons of towers, 
right here. Let's upgrade this just with the cooldown. I just like the cooldown. Uh, oh, I still have 22. Royal Forge, a blacksmith, upgrades my units and buildings. Let's grab this. More ranged damage for you, your units, and your buildings. It'll take three days. Let's get it started. Wait, what night is this? Oh, 10, <laughs> 10 out of 13. Okay. Uh, two days to research. Cooldown for auto attack of your weapon. Health and regeneration. Ability cooldown. I think I like that. Or more damage. Three days to research. Okay, we're going to bank on that having only being effective for the last night or two. Can we get this tower, like, just massive? Archer's Spire. More health. Shoots an additional arrow at another enemy in range. Less attack cooldown. Ballistic. More, okay, we already have increased attack cooldown on this. I don't think I want this one. More health. Projectiles explode. Tower can pour hot oil on enemies in close proximity. Healing spire. All this tower's damage is converted into healing for allies. Only targets your own units from now on. Okay, so it's gonna, it's gonna fire at my own units to heal them. Let's go with the archer's spire, an additional arrow. Sounds good. I have four left over. I, I don't think I have another tower I can put anywhere. I mean, I can get this going. That's not going to help me, though. So, you know what? Let's just plop these down. That'll give me some more gold. And I suppose I could use the last two to upgrade one of these houses. I don't know where I should go first. I'm just going to hang out in the middle here and see where I'm needed. All right, enemies incoming. These guys... Oh, they're headed down this way. That's excellent. Yes, take them out. Are they not in range of this? They're barely in range. Some of them are. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. This is bad. This is bad. I'm already down. Yes, go that way. Go that way, away from my city center, towards my archers. Oh, that was crazy. They blew past everything here. All right, well, at least now we have some ground units. Uh, they're all coming in from only two directions. Let's grab yous. You'll come over here. I'm going to grab our fire archers. You can come over here and let's start upgrading these towers. We want this one. I just like the cooldown. I don't think I need the health. Actually, attack cooldown decreases with each consecutive shot and it targets random units. That's not too bad. We're going to do this here and we're going to do the same thing for this one. They're just essentially covering these two lanes. And choose the final form. We got 35. I think I might want to just let's upgrade this. Come back down here and get this one as attack cooldown. This one really reaches just this one gate. So we'll make it a bunker tower. I have 18 left. This costs 15 to upgrade. Which is not great. So oh, this costs 10. Let's do this one. Because then I can get that other tower up to level 2. This is the additional arrow. I'm going to go with the additional arrow. Slows hit enemies down. 
That's kind of nice. But I feel like we're dealing with masses of enemies. I think if we're dealing with fewer higher health enemies, I'd want that. We're going to grab this one, and we're going to make it a sniper. Give it more range. That looks better. I have three health, not three health, three gold left over. I'm not confident this is going to last. Oh, I should have spent, I should have saved some to purchase that, that other barracks. Well, let's upgrade this house. And I think I'm going to start over here. Call in the night. Get my golem right here. Get a lightning strike. The south is not doing so well. Let me head over here. Uh, lightning strike. Come on, recharge, recharge. Okay, I guess I should focus on this area first. Oh yeah, they're through. Because at least on the east side there, I got a second eastern wall. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I gotta get out. They're gonna take down my mill. No, my farmland. I should have had those ones be the exploding ones. And that was a mistake. Oh, I don't think I hit anybody with that lightning strike. That's unfortunate. Alright, knight survived. We have 61 gold. We are on night 12 out of 13. We have a ton of enemies all coming from this direction. I guess I should upgrade this. Only costs three. That's just going to slow them down. That's fine. That's what I'm looking for. We're going to get some more knights or spearmen. Fast and strong. Extra damage against fast units, not great against ranged units. We don't have many ranged units. We have the aerial units, but I haven't seen any archers or anything like that. Bonus damage against siege engines and target them when in range. Armored against range. We're going to go with the spearmen here. We're going to call them in. You're going to help right here. And then we're going to immediately upgrade this. And these spearmen are going to come over here along with the golem. Our fire archers right here. And our huntsmen, I think they were called. You're going to help defend over here. And then, so if all this falls... It's going to come back to this area right here. So I think I want to get this one up. With additional arrows. Or projectiles explode. Single target damage reduced. Now we'll go with the additional arrow. Less attack cooldown. And maybe we can get this one as well. Uh, this one will do the pour hot oil. Since there's a good chance this tower is going to get targeted. I have 16 left. I can get some more flails. We'll do that. You guys come this way. And you can be right here. And we have our original flails down here, which you guys got to move. There we go. Okay, eight. Eight gold left. Let's upgrade this mill. In the hopes that it'll last. <laughs> they won't get through our second line of defense and this wall. All right, I think I'm going to help out here first. Get a lightning strike on all the use. 
that didn't seem to do much. Oh, I didn't up did I upgrade this wall? Oh, I didn't upgrade this wall. Okay, well that was a mistake. At least it's a good thing I decided to come help here first. Oh, we're down. That was a risk. I wanted to get in there. All right, reinforcements are arriving. We're going to revive. Hit him with a lightning strike. Get out. Uh, did not get out in time. They just burst me down. Not doing well up north either. Try this again. Get out. Oh, jeez. I think I might need to be using that temple. All right. The northern force is almost done. Oh yeah, you guys go ahead. Attack attack that gate. <laughs> I, I don't mind. That gate was looking at you funny. I heard it talking about your mother. Have some lightning. And we're good. All right, good job, everybody. You all did well. Get prepared for the last night, which is going to be horrible. All right, the main brunt of the land forces are coming from here. It's all spiders. It's all spiders. Uh, did these not... Oh, these didn't complete because they were destroyed. Well, that was a waste of gold. But we have 68 still, so I think we can hopefully be okay. We need to upgrade these guys down here. We need to go with attack cooldown on all of them to hopefully burst these these 20 flyers we're gonna get this one up as well um, I'm not confident they're gonna get rid of those flyers down there so I'm gonna come back here let's build a shrine right here just in case they get that far We got five. I'm not worried about... Am I worried about those five? Are those, like, special? Are they, like, giant? Oh, I think they are. Looking at the three icons at the very top. The right, the one on the right looks like the big ones. So we got five big boys coming in from these three lanes. All right. So where are our huntsmen? Which one was our huntsman? I don't remember. I think it was this everybody come here um, I need like half of yous to come this way help down here the other half are going to help out over here fire archers can help here who are these guys? We got some flails and some spearmen. Actually, all of our fire archers I want up here. Because they do the splash damage. And I don't think I need all of yous doing this. Probably could put you here. And we need some more soldiers. And some more archers. How much does this cost? 16 for four more. Oh, wait, what did I do? Oh, no, I messed that up. Hey, everybody. Sorry about that. Back to your places. I pressed the wrong button. You were there. Uh, you guys were kind of over here. Let's put you right there. And let's actually use the purchase button on this. And we can grab you set you here you have 31 left tower I you know what I feel like these towers in the back are the ones that are gonna need to be upgraded because so I feel like we're gonna be on the back foot here they're gonna get through minus attack cooldown additional arrows yes This is more flails for 16. That's quite a lot. Let's get this tower up. 
And let's give this one the oil and splash damage. Because all those spiders, if they get through all these walls, they're coming kind of straight through here. All right. I think that's fine. Um, I left this wall unupgraded again. I think that's okay. I'm not worried about it, but I'm going to help out here at first. And here we go. The last, uh, the last night. I'm hoping on the bottom left we can handle those flyers. And I'm not needed there. Okay, it's a big one, but it looks like it's one at a time. Never mind, now they're spawning faster. Get some lightning. Oh, this is awful. Get some more lightning here. That wall's gonna go down soon. Flyers on the southwest. Slowly getting taken care of. Yeah, go after those. That's fine, I don't mind that. Get some lightning while you're at it. Okay, the eastern eastern defenses are down. Oh gosh, they're really down. Uh, get lightning right there. Okay, we're good. We're good with the flyers. I hope all our archers aren't going to defend there. And they're just all focused on this. More lightning. Oh, they're through. They're through. Every, every, I would say everybody fall back, but I can't call you. <laughs> uh, lightning right there. More lightning. Oh, I think we got this. I think we might have it. Oh, oh, geez. Well, <laughs> you guys have it. You know, I'm going to take a rest here in the ground. Get a shield on you. Get some hot oil. Oh, you're just ignoring it at all. You're going straight at the the mill. But we're good. That's it. Victory. Amazing. No restarts. And we unlock some new things. Another challenge, God of Destruction. Buildings only heal 25% of their health points every morning. Destroyed buildings take an additional day to get repaired, but you get plus 20% more points and XP if you win. We get Elite Warriors. All of your units have plus 50% health. Oh, that's kind of nice. Archery skills. All your archers have plus 60% more range and projectile speed. I like that as well. Do we get another thing? No, that was everything. I'm back to the map. Excellent. That was a fun little map. I like that. Not for those who are afraid of spiders, for sure. Uh, but I really like the new, the new tower upgrades that we can have. The mini map on the bottom right is a great addition. And I'm just looking forward to them just adding more and more to this game. I mean, when we started out, there was, was it three maps or four maps? I think there were four maps, but the first one on the far left was the tutorial map. So it's really the tutorial plus three other maps, and they just keep adding more and more to it. And it's, it's really turning out great. I really love this game. Once again, this has been Thronefall. If you want to check it on out, I'll have a link in the description down below where you can do just that. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you made it this far... Thanks for watching.